is calcium in tap water causing your hair to fall out? In this video, we're going to answer exactly that. We're going to look at what scalp calcification is, and then we're going to talk how it can be a leading cause of damaging hair follicles. But don't panic, at the end of the video, we will give you a solution on how you can combat scalp calcification. So guys, before we get into the video on scalp calcification, if you are worried about your own hair loss, what you can do is you can head over to the description and click the link, and our hair guard specialist is going to give you an analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is click the link in the description and then upload a selfie. So guys, what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to be checking out what scalp calcification is. We're going to be looking at a few of the causes of scalp calcification, which is actually hard water and calcium deposits. Then we're going to talk about what you can actually do about scalp calcification. We'll look at the scalp calcification that's caused by both hard water and also calcium deposits. So first guys, let's have a look at what scalp calcification is. As you may already know, there are various substances which build up on the scalp, and these include dead skin, oil, hair product, and even DHT. In addition to the previously mentioned, however, calcium can also build up on the scalp, and this is known as scalp calcification. The buildup of any substance on your scalp is not good no matter how beneficial it may be in small doses. This is because the follicles can become blocked and this can negatively impact healthy hair growth. So let's have a look now at the two leading causes of scalp calcification. There are two main culprits and the first is hard water and the second is calcium deposits. In general, in general terms, hard water is any water which is obtained from an underground source and while the majority of homes receive their water in such a way, this doesn't necessarily mean that you are being exposed to hard water in your own home. The truth is, there are various processes of water collection and distribution that different regions use. This may mean that your area has particularly hard water, or you may have soft water. So we've got a couple of images here. So we've got one here of the United States of America. And as you can see, different regions have different uh, levels of water hardness in grains per gallon. So what you can do is you can take a look at this map in America. You can also take a look at this one in England. And you can see, like obviously in the, in the south and towards the east of England, the water is a lot harder as it is towards the west. So what you can do is if you're in another country, you can just simply type in hard water and then your country name and then map. And then it should come up with something very similar to this. But it's worth having a look and understanding uh, if your water is hard or not. Now, when you shower using hard water, a reaction occurs between the water and your shampoo. And this reaction creates a substance known as soap scum and it clings to your skin, hair and scalp. And this will build up over time, leading to an increase in calcium levels found on your scalp. Perhaps you're asking yourself, isn't calcium supposed to be in our bodies? And yes, you are absolutely right. Calcium is a hardening mineral. It is found primarily in our bones and teeth and is necessary for the health of both structures. Calcium can also be found in the bloodstream and in muscles but too much of it can lead to calcium deposits and build up in places where it causes harm, just like the scalp. This was seen in a study performed on hypersalemic rats and the rats were subjected to mild injuries of the skin. After only three hours, increased levels of calcium were found within follicles of injured skin. Excess calcium in the bloodstream is worsened when inflammation is involved. Inflammation is a natural body response to injury or irritation. However, chronic inflammation can lead to the collection of calcium deposits in said inflamed tissues. tissues. This leads to the hardening of the inflamed tissues, which leads to further inflammation. This cycle continues until healthy blood flow to the scalp is completely constricted, resulting in hair loss and eventual death of the hair follicles. So, you're probably wondering what on earth can we do about scalp calcification? So we're going to give you some solutions now. 
after you've determined the cause of your scalp calcification, you can better address the issue. So scalp calcification caused by hard water, uh, we're going to give you three ways that you can combat this. The first is you can target hard water at the source and soften your home's water with a water softening filtration system. This can be costly and installation is not always easy. There are, however, shower only filters which can be fitted to the fixture and will filter water as you shower. Second, you can counter soap scum buildup and calcification by utilizing calcium fighting remedies. This includes the use of a white vinegar and water mixture in order to soften hair and rinse away calcium buildup following shampoo. Additionally, you can rinse your hair with lemon infused water. And third is you could create your own shampoo and we think that apple cider vinegar is a perfect base ingredient. When it comes to scalp calcification caused by calcium deposits, whilst the last two, method, sorry, while the last two methods mentioned above can help you to combat calcium deposits on the scalp, there's a better way to target the issue at its source. Magnesium is a natural combatant of calcium. It helps to slow calcium production and buildup and has even been shown to completely stop the production of calcium buildup on blood vessel walls. Additionally, magnesium supplementation can lead to the reversal of vessel wall calcification. For best results, we suggest applying magnesium oil directly to the scalp. For adults, one fluid ounce massage into the scalp for 10 minutes, three to five times per week seems to be most beneficial. However, it is possible to accelerate results by applying the oil to your scalp on a daily basis. You can also use a derma roller to stimulate hair growth even more. You may also want to try a magnesium supplement to help counteract calcium deposits from the inside out, and we recommend magnesium or rotate. In addition, try to eat more foods that are high in magnesium, such as hazelnuts and almonds. Now to conclude, the buildup of calcium on your scalp, whether caused by external factors or internal factors, can lead to hair weakness, thinning and loss. In the long run, it can even cause the death of the hair follicles. Fortunately, there are a number of methods you can use to combat the issue, and you can even reverse the effects of scalp calcification when you catch it early enough. So guys, that's what we've got for you today on scalp calcification. Don't forget that if you want your hair guard analysis, click the link in the description and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.